very pleased to attend another APEC event and today make new friends. My name is Todd. I'm the CEO and co-founder of a company called Doseo. And later on I'm going to tell you about how we're going to transform O2O with technology, um, including cloud, uh, big data, and how to apply artificial intelligence to, not only as a B2C, to uh, help consumers. Giving you the perspective from a startup, and as I sit here and listen to everybody, I see the relationships. You know, David here was a great mentor to us when we first started. Thank you. And I see um, Thomas, right, you know, we, we use IoT in our solution. Michael, you know, a, they have a great platform, Azure, which we use uh, for data, cloud, and analytics. And also, we're tied in with Google, we, we support Android. And finally, we get put all this together, and here we are, the Shangri-La. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so I was kind of thinking, about, you know, I, I need to do a little research, and I want to go to the, the, the authority on um, everything, I guess. But, you know, it's beautiful. We love it, and, and it's going to be tremendous. And, you know, I get the feeling that, you know, seeing all of you here, that we have, you know, expectations. And, you know, our job is to see, you know, how we can um, deliver um, these expectations, expose new opportunities with I, uh, O2O. Okay. So, obviously, I'm going to talk to you about o O2O for hotels, travel, hospitality. And, of course, you know, as following with, Mar with what Marcel said, um, you know, hotels, hospitality, travel were actually early adopters of um, O2O. You book um, your research, you, you plan, you book, and you pay for your uh, hotel booking online, and then you arrive offline to your destination. And this is a wonderful hotel here, and you have the restaurant, so there's there's a restaurant, lounge, bar, pool, all the physical offline uh, things you can do in a hotel. Now, I found this picture, and this is Marcel's first job. Okay, <laughs> but you know, this is the this is the state of hospitality hotels. Um, they are adopting and transforming themselves. But it wasn't too long ago that you know this is what this was your beta O2O. Okay. Um, so, how are we um, embracing digitization and technology for a modern hospitality experience? Um, as travelers, as hotel guests, we all encounter these issues. Um, I'm new to the hotel room. Uh, I need information. I'm not sure which light switch controls which light. Uh, my room is too hot, it's too cold. Um, where's the gym or you know what, what are the dining op options here um, what does the control panel do so let's let's trans take all this and transform from there into something we're very familiar with now okay this interface the touch um, on your smartphone uh, on a tablet in the hotel room or as a guest you can download onto your own device Windows uh, iOS or Android in any language, and as you can see, we have all these uh, functions and features to provide enhanced guest services, but also to lead the, the guests into um, different areas of the hotel which they might not be familiar with, or they wouldn't know unless they had the technology to bring it up to the next level and make them aware of, you know, there is a great restaurant in the hotel. The, the gym is open 24 hours a day. Um, uh, we have a great um, pool on the, the 30, 38th floor. Right. So, uh, let me introduce you to DigiJames, technology for hotels. Um, DigiJames is smart operations. So, with technology, we're going to improve the staff efficiency and transform the workflows. Okay, so this is a, a, a change in the way that hotels will operate. Um, a smart building. So, we're going to network the building with uh, infrastructure with IoT and apply artificial intelligence machine learning okay, to make that building actually uh, smart. Um, and smart service, room controls, room service suggestions, and hotel information at the guests at your fingertips. So here's how we do it at the, at the heart of the system, and this is where the value is created as DigiJames. And DigiJames intelligently, uh, through our IoT RCU, controls the room and the building 
DigiJames also links to third-party cloud services for information, flight information, weather information, um, booking for your, your taxi and travel, etc. cetera. Um, DigiJames also is a back-end for the hotel, for the hotel management. And for the guest, uh, as an app on your phone or in a as a tablet in the hotel room. And on top of that, we apply artificial intelligence, and this is with data collection. We all understand and we all hear how important data is, but how do you apply the data you know, through learning computing and, and generate the algor algorithm, algorithms for accurate predictions and results? So you can deliver to the guest suggestions. Okay, so this is our suggestion engine. Hey, are you bored? Right, so let, let's give you some suggestions. Let's take you online to an offline um, destination. You know, go to the museum. Um, uh, go see a movie, okay, and build upon that. This, this suggestion engine said, uh, are you hungry? Okay, let's take you to a restaurant, either in the hotel or in the local community. Um, and so, hungry, comfortable, are you curious? Um, sleepy, bored, okay, so engagement leading to some experience, and this could be an offline experience. Um, and we build user profiles, so as more, we collect data, on the guests and their behavior, then we can have more accurate predictions and more relevant um, uh, targeted marketing and suggestions for the guests. So here we are, relevant marketing. Um, you want to go to the gym, um, you need to relax, go to the spa. And, and this is something that I really didn't realize, um, but uh, a typical hotel is roughly 300 to 350 rooms. And in one year, they see over 100,000 guests. And that's at 70% occupancy. So that's 100,000 opportunities for the hotel to interact, to engage, to deliver service, and also to make money, to upsell. So this is a, a big opportunity for hotels. And not only for the guests, but how about for hotels? Let's say, is there an O2 or ROI? Well, for example, the guest is, is expected to arrive at 4 o'clock. Um, we know his plane uh, arrived, he's heading to the hotel, but guess what? There's a traffic jam. So the uh, technology and intelligence will notify the hotel that now his arrival time is going to be delayed. So what they'll do is they'll delay um, turning on the room, and this can save them electricity. And when the guest arrives eventually at 7, then the room comes on for that welcome and guest experience. So saving energy, this is an ROI uh, opportunity with O2O. So finally, with DigiJames and our system, we're, we're transforming the hotel to a hotel alive, but also making O2O alive. And in the future, each hotel that's connected with our system now can link and be part of the Smart City Enabler. Okay. And, and that will broaden the reach of O2O. And finally, thank you guys you know, for the partnerships, APEC, um, and also the stakeholders, uh, Intel, uh, Siemens, um, and uh, of course, SMEA, right, and Itchy. Thank you. Oh, and, and yes, um, July 12th and 13th, uh, APEC uh, O2O Summit at the Shangri-La. Remind you guys to come and see our phase two uh, launch, which we're going to complete the rest of the building, all 421 rooms in the hotel. So thank you very much.